I lived about a mile from a department store when I was about 10. So I'd walk down the street. This is New Hampshire. So like back in the, you know, 1989, 90, you could do that. It was safe. I'd walk down the street. I would go to the department store. I'd walk in there. I'd go right to the music section. Well, way back in those days, you had cassette tapes. Well, the cassette tapes... I mean, you know what a cassette tape looks like. They're about this big, right? But they didn't just have them here. They had these giant white, like, handles, these hard plastic handles, so you couldn't just steal them. Well, 10-year-old Roscoe was a thief. He was a little Winona Ryder. So I would take these things and I would jam them into my snow jacket <laughs> and I'll never forget I'm walking around and I'm seeing all these all these cassettes and like there's so many right so like oh I got queens of rap okay I've got cool rap with Ice-T and Houdini and Dana Dane and I got hard rap with Ice-T and Ice Cube and all oh, the list goes on so here I am and I got like 10 of these things but they're not just 10 cassettes they're 10 things like this just ridiculous so I'm thinking well how the hell am I gonna get these out of here because I don't have any money. So I had to narrow it down to one. So I chose Queens of Rap. First song was Supersonic by J.J. Fad. Some of you, that will bring you back. There was also Queen Latifah. There was, uh, God, who else was it? MC Light, 10% Diss. Oh, there was some really great stuff. But I landed on Queens of Rap. That's the one that I need. So I put all the rest of them back. I got the Queens of Rap. And I'm staring, I'm like, oh man, it's gonna be so good. It's got the Queen Latifah on it. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. So I managed to carry this thing around and I got my winter jacket on. And granted, I was like three pounds, so the jacket is just gigantic on me, right? So I'm carrying this thing and I let it, the whole thing like slide up my sleeve. So I get it in there. And stuff it in there. I'm not condoning stealing and shoplifting. I was 10. What are you going to do? <laughs> so, I managed to get out of the store. I still have a mile walk to get home. I start walking through the department store. Okay, I'm out. I walk past all these other department stores. And I go through this short little path through the woods. Now, the whole time, I feel like I'm in a spy movie where I'm walking. I heard a crunch behind me. Whew. Am I being followed? Is the FBI on to me? Do they know? Do they know? I, is there a tracker in this cassette? So I'm freaking out. So I finally get through the woods. I get to my road. And I've got probably three quarters of a mile uphill. In the snow, both ways, right? Well, wouldn't you know it? As soon as I get out of the woods and I hang a left on my road across over the bridge, and right next to the bridge is this little turnaround point that people like to park. I don't know what the hell they're doing there, but people just like to park there. They can't see anything, can't see the river, can't see anything. They just park there. There was a police car there. Now, by now, I've already crossed the bridge. The cop is there. I have the evidence in my sleeve. If they stop me, it's over. Like, it's over. So I'm just like, it's cool, man. It's cool. Now I'm walking and I'm trying to be natural, but I'm 10 and I'm terrified because as far as I'm concerned, they know that I have this Queens of Rap cassette. They're going to get out of this car. They're going to walk over. They're going to throw me against the car. They're going to pull this cassette and be like, you didn't pay for this. And they're going to slam my head into the car and I'm going to go to prison at 10. Oh, terrified. So I walk by the car. <laughs> 
trying to be as natural as possible. But this cassette thing is like this long on my arm. So I'm walking like this. <laughs> I'm trying to be natural. So I pass the car. And it's cold out, like there's snow on the ground, but I'm sweating, right? Not just sweating, but like, like it looked like I had a, like a water thong. You know what I mean? Like I was sweating, sweating. And I pass the car and I keep going. I'm listening for the car to start. And all of a sudden I get the, okay, the car starts. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. This is it. Okay. If they approach me. I need to dive into the woods. I just need to go. Because if I go five miles that way, I hit the next town, another three miles north. It might be like a 12 mile round trip through the woods, but I can get home. And this Queens of Rap cassette is going to be worth it. Cop pulls up. They look at me through the window. I give them the wave. Gentlemen, officers, and they drive on. And the rest of this walk, I stood there. I stood there. I walked. I was terrified. Because I know any second they were coming back, they were going to woo, 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 woo. And then 12 cars would come up, guns drawn. Tasers didn't exist back then. Batons, all for a Queen Latifah cassette that I couldn't wait to get home. And I got home, and it took me like two hours to figure out how to take this damn plastic off. But was it worth it? Yes, because here I am, 50 years later, telling you that I took it. I don't regret it. It's one of the greatest albums I've ever heard. <clears throat> Nailed it. Don't steal things, though. That's not the right thing to do.